you know, the more I thought about the Royal Hotel, I've seen it yesterday and kind of taken a day or two to kind of just, you know, let my thoughts sit with me. The more that this movie is going in my top 10 of 2023. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this review right here. It is going to be spoiler free, so don't worry about spoilers from me. So, The Royal Hotel was a movie I checked out at my local cinema yesterday, well, as I'm recording this video, and the more I thought about it, as I said in the intro, definitely I want to add this into my top 10 of the year, as this was awesome and I'm about to get into why. But just before I do, Let's get into a couple of specifics. The director is Kitty Green and our main two leads is Jessica Henwick and Julie Garner who play Hannah and Liv. And what is the Royal Hotel all around? Well, it focuses on two backpackers deciding to travel to Australia and they're a bit low on funds so they need a little bit of money. They find out that the only kind of job going available on really short notice is basically out in the middle of the nowhere in the outback in Australia. They take these jobs as kind of basically like barmaid, barwomen, etc. And as the couple of weeks start to go by that they're going to be there for, things only start to get worse. Do you want access to early videos? Videos you won't ever see here onto the channel? Well click the link down below in the description box today and join my Patreon with memberships only starting from £1 per month. You get so much extra stuff and it costs less than one coffee per day. And I'd also like to give a quick thank you to all my awesome Patreons who help to really support the channel and who are also reaping all these benefits so join them today. Before going into this movie I had only ever seen a trailer, like one trailer and kind of itch which did show quite a bit but luckily I hadn't seen the trailer for some time that initial viewing so I forgot about a lot of the stuff that happens here and after walking out of it and as soon as the movie ended I was like wow that was really good and it kind of kept me on the edge of my seat now I will say before I go into my thoughts this is probably going to be a divisive one with a lot of people because let's just get the kind of elephant out the room this is a very slow burn thriller although it is only 90 minutes long and at times it does feel as if it kind of flies by at least for me it flew by but for others they might think yeah it feels like it's maybe dragging a little bit here but it definitely worked for me, so let's get into why. So absolutely, let's start off with the positives. And the positives here is Julie Garner and Jessica Henwick give fantastic performances. These two actresses have great chemistry and throughout, you want to root for their characters. Even if at times they may make like kind of silly decisions, you still want to root for them and you want to see these two women really succeed in this job that they're trying to do and just trying to earn some extra money before they move on in Australia to the next place that they want to go and visit. The performances are great because whether our characters are smiling, whether they are happy in general, whether they are upset, whether they're depressed, whether they're worried for their lives whatever emotion that they're going through you feel as if you're on that journey with them well at least I did but that also kind of comes down to the writing of Kitty Green and Oscar Redding who co-wrote this movie and I also believe that the on-set location the Royal Hotel where it was filmed I think it was actually kind of abandoned in Australia and they found the space and thought wow this looks remote it feels remote let's kind of set up here and let's film and I think that only just adds to the intensity here because throughout with the cinematography you really get this feeling of seclusion like there's no where to go also the rest of the cast involved who also include hugo weaving which i was very surprised by do a really good job and they all do a good job for the parts that they're given i can't really tell you too much about the parts that they do because it kind of goes more into spoiler territory and also a big theme of what this movie is presenting and i really feel as if the message in here and the themes that go around it is a really important one and I think also might be a one that needs to be addressed more in kind of work cultures and I just felt as if this was tension filled it was suspenseful it had me at times on the edge of my seat and being like oh you know 
like contemplating like what the heck is going to happen next like are these girls safe are they unsafe all those different emotions I felt in this kind of 90 minute runtime, and I can only commend the movie for that if I'm going to go into negatives I'll be honest I've only got one negative and that is it one negative it's not so much even a negative so to say it's more of what I would have personally liked to have seen and that for me would be a couple of extra scenes believe it or not i would have liked this to maybe even been stretched to like maybe an hour 40 because this movie is kind of tension filled right up until the kind of last five minutes and then the last five minutes and our final scene and our final shot it doesn't feel rushed because obviously of course it's built up throughout the entire duration it just felt as if maybe a scene or two was missing or maybe a scene or two added there would have really just kind of packed this movie in a little bit more but that's the only kind of like negative nitpick that i generally have here i don't know if this is going to get a big cinema run in america or any other country but at least here in the uk it got a release it's still on the cinemas at least this week and next if you do have a chance to go to cinema i would personally recommend it if you like a slow burn thriller if you don't absolutely avoid this one because you're probably not going to like it in that essence but overall my score for the royal hotel is a four out of five stars so you've heard my opinion now it's time for yours the most important opinion of all i'd love to know if you guys agree with me if you disagree if you haven't seen this one but maybe you're interested or if you haven't seen this one and you just don't really care about checking this one out let me know down below in the comment section i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have certainly give it a big thumbs up to help the youtube algorithm and to really give some more attention to the channel i would really appreciate and until the next time i see you i'll be seeing you later